I'm Rond Spearman. Uh, hi, Rond. Nice to meet you. Would you like to purchase a balloon? Excuse me? I am a spherical balloon salesman. That's a job? Would you like to know what they cost? Uh, no. The price is zero, zero, t zero. The roundest number there is. Free balloons! Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, what are you doing with your life? Seriously, your Elden Ring character looks like that? Okay, I'm making some assumptions here, but unless you're exploring every nook and cranny of the map, I bet you haven't found your fashion of choice quite yet within this game and are probably tired of wearing those silly old rags you call armor. Maybe your armor set is okay, but just not great. Today, I'll be showing you the location of eight great armor sets that you don't want to miss in Elden Ring to make sure your character is looking spiffy in no time. Firstly today, this one is incredibly easy to get. You can get it extremely early as well, and considering both of those factors, it looks pretty damn good. This is the iron armor set in Elden Ring, which comes with leather pants as well. It isn't the best looking set in the game quite, but it is definitely pretty nice, especially for the time that you get it. It's relatively ornamental and detailed, the tunic has a lot of effort put into it, and the helmet is unique too. To acquire it for yourself, head to the merchant set up directly beside the Castle Morn Rampart site of Grace in the Weeping Peninsula in the south of Limgrave. Second up is the Noble Armor Set, and this one is specifically pretty, if nothing else. And by nothing else, I mean it has barely any poise, weighs barely anything, and doesn't offer much in the way of resistances. But the hood gives you a slight boost to mind, I guess, if you really want your mind to be stronger. And that hood, by the way, is quite good looking, and the rest of the outfit isn't bad in the slightest either. To get this for yourself, head to the very north of the Altus Plateau, to the Windmill Village site of Grace, then a a short hop and bound over to the northwest to the actual northern tip of the area and just in front of a windmill in front of a bunch of ladies dancing around a pile of burning zombies what the fuck is this game you will find yourself the knight's twinning blade as well as the noble armor set third we have the crucible axe armor set this is the armor of any crucible knight enemies that you see around the world and oh my is it just scrum diddly umptious it is quite bronze or copper I don't, I don't know i'm bad at colors okay but it is brownish metal and it looks good, all right? This is reasonably heavy armor, but still a good distance away from the heaviest armor in the game. To get it for yourself, head to the Ariza Hero's Grave in the outer borders of Lindell. To reach this location, follow the wall all the way around the north side until you reach the end, making sure to go under the bridge instead of going to the top to enter the city. Once inside, you will find everyone's favorite friend, a chariot trap. The fastest way to run through this dungeon to the end boss, which is where you'll find this armor set, is to run towards the first alcove on the side and then go in. After the chariot goes past you, run forwards and jump into the pit. Go up the stairs in front of you, then take a right turn running forwards to the end of the tunnel. Wait for the left side chariot to go past, then go where it used to be. Make sure that you don't keep running forwards though until the right side chariot turns around or you'll desync them and make it harder for yourself. Once the right side chariot goes up, go back to the right side and go down. At the bottom here, once the big metal door is in sight, there is another chariot, of course. Run from this one at first, then when it goes back up, hide in the alcove, then run forward to the door once it comes past you. Easy peasy lemon fuck chariots. After the door is a pleasant stroll to a boss fog wall, inside of which lays a bit of a challenge, which ends with you receiving the Crucible Axe armor set, as well as Ordovus's greatsword for anyone who would like that weapon as well. Fourth up is the Snow Witch set. This lovely pale gray armor set comes with a fur cloak and a nice giant hat, as all good Elden Ring characters should be wearing. And it is definitely one of the nicer, plainer sets for all of you magic type people out there. In order to acquire this one for yourself, you have to complete the Rani quest line in Elden Ring, which is sort of a process, so check out our video on the Dark Moon Greatsword for all of the info on that quest line. Once it is completed, however, all you have to do is head to Rani's Rise behind Caria Manor and head up to the main tower, where you'll find this outfit left for you near the top. Fifth today is the Ron Spearman set, which I guess is honestly probably called the Lionel armor set. This is one of the roundest armor sets in the entire game. It is big, bulky, and truly a 
peak aesthetic. This one is really, really easy to get, provided that you have gotten to the capital city area of the game by the point that you're watching this video. All you have to do is go to the lower capital church site of Grace, which is just a little bit northwest of the west capital rampart site of Grace that is along the main path through the city. From there, all you have to do is head inside the building and on the bed will be the armor set that you seek. Sixth today is the Alberic armor set, a beautiful wizard set inlaid with red glintstones. This hat is sadly a little bit small for my personal standards, but I could definitely see someone choosing to wear it, I guess, even if it is a bit inferior to the larger brimmed hats in the game. To get this fantastic armor set for yourself, head once again to the West Capitol Rampart site of Grace. This time, head out to the south side down the stairs. Going out the exit to your left, head into the giant building in front of you. Right through the door, you'll enter a somewhat familiar looking room ooh, with a corpse at the end of it. On this corpse is the armor set that you seek. Seventh, moving on to the mountaintop of the giants region of the game, we have the fingerprint armor. This thing looks really cool. It is basically just stylish iron or steel armor with what looks to be gigantic fingerprints etched into the helmet and chest piece, almost as if a giant blacksmith put his thumb on it while he was still cooling off. In order to acquire this set for yourself, head to the White Ridge Road site of Grace, just south of the Freezing Lake, and then from there, backtrack just a tiny bit up this hill to find the Lord Contenders Evergale. Now, there is a lot of lore behind what is going on here, and it's one of those things that you slowly piece together through a number of encounters. My understanding being that the boss that you find within this Evergale was once on the path to becoming an Elden Lord, just as you are, but eventually he turned to madness. Upon defeating him, you'll get his armor, the Fingerprint Armor. Finally, then, is the Zamor Knight armor set. This one I've been wearing bits and pieces of for a couple of days, and people keep asking about it, so it definitely seems I'm not the only one who enjoys this sort of half-cloth, half-scaled metal aesthetic, and while the headpiece is a bit on the creepy side, hey, who says that there is anything wrong with being just a little bit creepy sometimes? To get this armor set for yourself, head to the giant conquering hero's grave in the mountaintop of the giants. To get here, you have to go all the way around the long way of the map, and then from the giant's graveyard site of grave, head to the west, jumping the gap between the mountains to find the glorious stone structure that you seek. Inside of here, from the site of grace, take a left, then jump out of the window that is on your right. Head up the stairs and immediately take a left, then take a right. After the deactivated fire trap, go left, up the stairs, and forwards to find an elevator. At the bottom of the elevator on your left will be a shadow giant at the end of a bridge. Drag him back towards the elevator and into the circle of light on the floor to make him vulnerable to damage. Once you defeat him, you'll open the big doors, behind him, leading to the boss of the dungeon, who upon defeat drops this armor set for you. And there you have it, everyone. Eight more armor sets that you absolutely do not want to miss in Elden Ring. Is your soul feeling fashionable yet, or are you still in search of your peak aesthetic? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye